Diego Dalla has been given a World Cup Team of the Tournament card, and today we're going to see if it's worth getting in your team. Now, he has cost me 231k. He has been upgraded from a medium defensive work rate to a high, so he's now high, high, six foot tall, three star skimmers, and four star weak foot. Now, we can only play right back or right wing back, so obviously they're the positions we're going to play in. And now, look at the attributes. As you can see, really nice pace. Shooting's quite good as well. 95 shot power, decent long shot. Passing's really good in game. Look at really nice short pass, really good curve. So again, in and around them tight uh, spaces, obviously when you're being pressed he's going to be very good to get on the ball dribbling wise really good as well very nice agility really good reactions and ball control composure now defensively really nice as well he's going to be one of the best right backs on the game with high defensive stats like that in the 85s also good interceptions and defensive awareness physically as well like i said look how good he's jumping his stamina strength aggression everything you're going to want from your right back this is why he's 230k oh player traits again really nice player traits dives and tackles that can be really hit and miss it just depends where they dive into the tackles for Long pass is really good. You're going to need this for crossing, obviously switching the play. Long shot taker, technical dribbler. You're going to want all of these on your right backs and left backs to 100%. Now, I am going to go with the anchor or the shadow chemistry style on him. I'm probably going to put the, the shadow on him. He's already got really nice physical stats, so I feel like we can just go straight with the anchor, max out the pace. He has the control to accelerate average body types. So obviously, with control, you want to be as fast as possible. So for that reason, like I said, we're going to go with the shadow chemistry style. Play him at right back, and we're going to play a few games of rivals, and let's see how we get on. Nice one-two with Dalot. Into the box. Nice bit of R1 dribbling. Picks out his man, gets an assist. Great bit of play from Dalot there. We got Dalot looking to get that overlap again. Nice pace upgrade, as you can see. Oh, just about keeps it on, but there's just no one at the front post for an easy tap in. Yeah, it's a nice one, two. Look at the pace. Round Rudiger. Plays it into Jesus, and yes, he'll get another assist. Second assist for Dalot. Nice drive through from Dalot. And look, there we go. Put Sterling on one over the keeper. Can he? Oh, I just can't dink the goalkeeper, though. And Dalot, look at that. Holding him off the whole time. Oh, he's just unlucky not with a ball over the top. And a nice tackle there. Stops him running down the wing. And look at the pace of Dalot. He manages to get round to Mori. Oh, and again, he's unlucky not to get another assist. Oh, he's going to get a penalty. There we go. I really like this card. Look at the pace of Diego Dalot. Picks out Messi. There you go. You can always back Diego Dalot to come up and support the attacks. Again, just couldn't quite get it across though. Dalot coming in with the tackle late on in game. That was secure us the win. And Dalot with that pace, catching up Mendy. There you go, nice switch of play as well. Yeah, Dalot again, he's so strong. Defensively wise, really strong card. Again, I'll keep saying it, really, really top defender this card. Dalot again, coming in with the interception. It's not just that as well. Look, now we're on the counter-attack through Dalot. Can he finish? He can't, but still, look where we ended up from his interception. Oh, this guy's too good. He's too good. Nice ball through from Dalot. A final vote on Dalot. Now, I really enjoyed using this card. You know, this guy is an absolute beast all round. Pace wise, he just absolutely gets away from anyone and everyone, to be honest with you. You know, he's so, so quick. Very similar to Alfonso Davis's card that I use. You know, he's just so quick, able to get around people. His passing's really good in game. Like I said, he rarely ever gives the ball away. Really nice crossing. Got so many different variations you can do on his pass because of that long passer trait. So, again, if you're playing them cross field balls from right back to left back, he can do it. Nice crosses. Really nice short passing. You know, like I said, rarely, rarely ever gives the ball away. Got, because of the curve and how good the short pass is, this is why. 
dribbling wise again as you see the r1 dribbling with him really nice in the box you know especially on the ps5 version obviously if you're playing with your uh, fullbacks on balance you definitely want to want to get this guy going forward you know he's like another winger playing on on the right hand side like i said similar to alfonso davis where the guy can defend and attack at the same time really really nice card really good ball control composure as well so when you do get him in the right areas he's not going to mess up he's going to be able to play that right pass with the right composure as well so really really good card in that sense as well and defensively as well solid absolutely solid as you can see with the shadow chemistry style on maxes out his defending more or less obviously everything into the 90s especially obviously apart from defensive awareness and the head and accuracy so again really really strong defensively he's already had really good physical stats so i didn't feel like we needed to put the anchor on and obviously because he's controlled you want to make them as fast as possible because it means they stay at that one pace the whole time so again this is why he's running past people he's catching people up on the game like i said since the, the, the patch control has been probably the best accelerate to use so for that reason, like I said, you want to try and max out that pace as much as possible. If I'm going to compare this guy to other fullbacks, you know, he's probably on the same level as Kyle Walker, if not better. Walker's always been one of them defenders, you know, he's just sort of rigged in game. Everything just sort of goes for him. And he's just a very, very good card, Kyle Walker, especially his Path to Glory card. Diego Dalot is definitely up there as well, and he's half the price. He'll probably drop a lot more. Really solid links, obviously, Man United, Portuguese. So you're not going to struggle too much on getting this guy out on max chemistry. That is for sure. Now, is this card worth getting your team? 100% yes. Defense fire on this card is really, really nice. You know, he's probably one of the best right backs on the game at the moment. Obviously, I know he's only just come out. But in terms of them, the de defensive stats are 85. There's not really too many with high defensive stats. Obviously, you've got Carver House, Path to Glory card. But again, he doesn't have the, the pace that Dalot has. Obviously, like people like Zan Brotta and um, Roberto Carlos. Obviously, I know Roberto Carlos is a left back. But other fullbacks don't have these high defensive stats unless they're like an icon or top tier. So for 240k, like I said, it'll probably half in price, probably about 120k, 150k. He is a really, really nice card to get in your team. Really, really nice card. Again, he's a Premier League player, so he has solid links. And there's nothing wrong with him all round. As you can see, everything is, apart from obviously shooting, is 83, 84 and above. So, again, like I said, passing is really good. Dribbling-wise, all the main stats that you want are good. Obviously, with the Shadow one, he has 97 uh, acceleration and sprint speed. His passing, short pass is 90 and above. Curve, 90 and above. So, again, short pass in them in them tight spaces because of the curve. You know, they're always going to go into the player. Passing, 90 plus. Agility is 87. You know, his ball control, 87. Composure. Like I said, all the main stats, interceptions, Defensive awareness, stand tackle, all in really good areas, really good places. You know, everything is dark green on the screen. So, like I said, really nice card. He's expensive at the moment, don't get me wrong, but he will drop in price. Probably around to 120, 130k, I'd probably say. He will hold price, definitely, because he's Premier League, really good links, and a really solid card all round. If I'm going to give him a rating out of 10, I'm going to give him a 9. It's just a shame he's not probably like some of something like 4 star, 4 star. Really nice, obviously, work rates. He's high, high. So, you've got, like I said, he's always going to be bombing forward, he's going to be bombing back to get back in position good stamina just everything all round like i said he's got them dives and tackles it doesn't happen too much but the cpu it will obviously sometimes mess you up especially if they dive into a tackle in the penalty area long passer technical dribbler that's what makes him so good in game obviously with his agility and balance controlled accelerate again like i said you want to make max that pace out as much as possible so keep that shadow chemistry style on him and you've got one of the best right backs on the game and if you are looking to get cards like diego Dalla in your team click on that discord link below because we've got traders and they're making hundreds of thousands of coins every single week click on that link below and we'll see you in the next video